grew up in El Centro, California in the Imperial Valley. When I was growing up in the 60s and 70s, the valley was the most important winter produce area in the country. The Desert family, of which I'm a part, owned the Desert Seed Company, headquartered in El Centro. My father, Joe Ahern, was the Vice President of Sales and Marketing. I started to learn the seed business from my early teens. In 1980, the Desert Seed Company was acquired by Atlantic Richfield. So in 1981, my father and I co-founded Ahern International Seeds in San Diego. In the early 80s, San Diego County was the nation's leading producer of vine ripe whole tomatoes. I was a sales rep for San Diego County and my job was to develop and sell tomato seed bred by the Ferrymore Seed Company, Pito Seed and Asgro Seed Company. Farming is the hardest job in the world. It starts at dawn and ends after dark and is seven days a week. One of the things that's always impressed me about our customers is that no matter how good or how bad the season was, they are ready to plant again. They believe in tomorrow. They know they're dealing with a fickle mother nature, challenged by lack of water, weather, pests, and disease. But it is hope that things are going to be better tomorrow and the love for what they do that sustains them. Sometime in the early to mid 80s, row crop farming started to disappear in San Diego. The rapid development of Carlsbad, Oceanside, and the Otay Mesa reduced tomato acreage from 6,000 to fewer than 2,000 acres in less than 10 years. Those that had made their living farming tomatoes in San Diego loved farming. They were from families that had farmed for generations, and they weren't going to just quit. So they went where it made sense to Northern Baja. Naturally, I went south with them. I knew I was at the forefront of something. A major transition was taking place because the economics favored Mexico. It was about that time that I met the Rodriguez family of Rancho Los Pinos in San Quintin. The Rodriguez's were then, and still are today, the largest tomato farmers in the Baja Peninsula. Their farm is a microcosm of how Mexican agriculture has changed over the years. Four to five times as productive, with far better fruit quality, using less water, fertilizers, chemicals, and labor. During my career, Mexican agriculture has become world class. The country of Mexico is considered one of the five most important global vegetable seed markets. In the beginning, I did all of the product development trials and evaluation. Now Ahern has 35 agronomists conducting over 1,000 new product development trials in every state every year. In the past, our total focus was on the farm. Today, the consumer drives our business as much as the environment. Current consumers are sophisticated and affluent. People insist on good flavor, good appearance, and most of all, healthy fruits and vegetables. What hasn't changed is that farmers still have to plant seeds, produce a good transplant, and transplant to their fields. They have to have the knowledge and the wherewithal to provide the right irrigation and nutrition and cultivate to produce a good crop. They also need what they've always needed, the manpower to harvest, pack, ship, transport, and sell the crop. That's not changed. The methodology of how it happens has changed but all the fundamentals haven't and they never will. In the end, it's people, talent, experience, integrity, commitment, a strong work ethic. Yes, you have to have a vision, a mission, a plan. You need finance, systems and technology. But you will only be successful with talented, well-trained, passionate people working together toward common goals. It's amazing to see our people grow in their careers. It's something that gives tremendous satisfaction to a leader of an organization. We've come a long way in 35 years, from our first dollar in seed sales to over $75 million in the current year. From the first employee to a few short of 100, from one office to 10 operating in five countries, from tomato varieties with one race of verticillium 
and fusarium resistance sold for $300 a pound to the genetic superstars with multivirus, multifungal, and bacterial resistance that sell for $1 a seed. And, no kidding, we're just getting started.